He has to give me everything he's got for this. Who's he? You! I'm he! Yeah! Why are you talking about me like I'm in the third person here? Okay guys, quickly before Dimitri gets back, I'm actually going to be doing saying the dirty WAP song lyrics in front of my boyfriend to see how he reacts. Dimitri thinks we're answering your juicy questions that you've been asking in the comment section, but that's not the case. I've been seeing people do this and it's like super funny and super fun and I want to see how he'll react because I don't ever swear, I don't really talk like that, so I want to know what he's going to say and how he'll react, and I feel like this is the best way to do it. Now, I have written down fake questions from you guys, and I chose questions that would make it easier for me to insert the lyrics, because I want to make it as believable as possible to see what he'll do. I sent him downstairs to go grab something from the car, and I don't know why I'm whispering, I just feel like I don't know because it's a secret. It's a secret. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Aika. I'm Dimitri and we are answering some questions today. Yes, we're gonna be answering your juicy questions today. You guys have been hitting us in the comments and we have them right here and we're gonna answer them for the you guys. Juicy question. You ready? Yes. You ready for this? Okay. All right. All right, so this first person says, I've been with my boyfriend for a while now. How can I spice things up in the relationship? Mm. So it seems like the relationship is getting a little bit, you know. Mm. What would you say? I mean, from a guy's perspective, you know, if you uh, turn up the frequency of... Ew! Yeah, spice it up. Give the guy a little, you know, because I'm telling you. Is that the first thing that comes to guy's mind when it comes to spicing things up? You got me on. It can't be like, wear something cute. No, it has to be. I mean, wear something cute, but be prepared to take it off. Wow. Juicy wow. questions. Yeah, these are juicy. I would say, like, send him, like, cute, sexy text messages. Like, send him stuff like... Park that Big Mac pickup truck right in this little garage. What? Guys love that stuff, no? Oh, are you gonna start sending them to me now? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about you, honey. It's about spicing up this person's relationship. You've never sent me anything like that. Because we don't need the spice yet. When we need the spice, I'll be sending you those. We don't need the spice. We're not there yet. There, that's where they're. I want. I want some. They're of your, there. I want some of your cute text messages. <laughs> that's my advice. I feel like sexy text messages while he's at work. I mean, that work. would do it. <laughs> right. That would. I mean, I feel if, like if, guys would like stuff like that. If I got a text message that said that, I would definitely stop and like. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, because like these are juicy ones, so we can't really hold back, you know? Yeah. Next question. My in-laws always give me a hard time. They criticize everything that I do, cooking, cleaning, everything. Uh, oh, that's that a, sucks. That's a tough one. Yeah, what would you say? I mean, you just have to like, not let it bother you. But just still, like, you know, you got to do your thing, like, help out and just understand that it's not you, it's them. The in-laws, they're a mess. Can I tell you, I would, okay, if I were, if I were you and my in-laws kept on doing stuff like that, I would just make, like, snarky, funny, unbothered comments. I'd be like, really, I'd be like, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you I got this ring. Do you got to make it rhyme like that, too, or what? I would, I would say like- I feel like the, that would make the problem worse. But I would say it in a very unbothered like way where you're not like directly looking at them. Just as you are cooking and your back's kind of turned, just an ex as an example, just be like, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me just tell you how I got this ring. Your son is getting a mop and a bucket for this wedding. He didn't marry me for no cooking and cleaning. You can't say that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, okay, I'll bleep it out. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see you doing that. Really? No. 
Why are you, why are you misleading these people? I'm not misleading them, honey. I'm literally telling you guys that is what I would, that's the approach I would take. I would take that approach. I really would. If they're bothering you, then bother them right back. I mean, Dr. Dem says that is just going to lead to more issues. But, but it's, so it's okay for them to bother her and she can't bother them back? I feel like it's great advice. So if you feel like saying that to your in-laws, you go for it. <laughs> okay, so next question. Yeah. All right, all right. My boyfriend buys me the lamest gifts. How do I tell him what I actually want without hurting his feelings? Oof. So I think what I would do is we need to forget about the past, okay? He has already got you lame gifts. Don't, don't hurt his feelings by telling him that those gifts suck. But moving forward, you know, when you guys go out or you go to the mall, make sure that it's very, very, very obvious what you want. You go to the store, you try on a bag, you're looking at it. Babe, don't you think this is cute? Drop <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy hints. And honestly, guys appreciate it. Because then when the birthday comes, when Christmas comes, it's not like I got to sit there and pull my hair out for three hours trying to figure out exactly what you want. It's like, oh yeah, I know she's been eyeing up that for like ever. So I'm just going to swing by the store. You love it. He's not stressed out. It's a win-win. I feel like uh, that's a lot of work. I, that is too much work for her to do for one little gift. Like that's the really long way and you might not get it. I feel like ask for a car while you write that That will get you what you want. Oh, hell no. Okay. When guys are doing that, they say yes to everything. <laughs> no. Yes. Can I tell you, when you're doing that i'm not thinking that you want a christmas gift like if you say something like that i think you're like trying to make like some sort of sexy talk i'm not <laughs> i'm not thinking that you actually want that what do you it could work i feel like try it my way and see if it works did you drink something today no i did not what's wrong with that <laughs> nothing i don't know i just thought i it thought was... it was really cute i don't know i don't know cute is not the word for that but Anyways. I thought it was cute. I feel like if she's dropping hints and he's still buying her bad gifts, it's another strategy to use that maybe she didn't think of. Do you got like maybe another one that you want to try just for like safety? Just in case you don't want to put that in? Like a nut, because why? You think it's bad to put it on YouTube? I don't know. Guys, listen, don't take any offense. I am literally just being very honest today. Am I being a gold digger if I want a guy who makes over $200,000 a year minimum? What do you think? I mean, if you have like this strict criteria of like, you're at 196, you're out. <laughs> like, yeah, you're, you're being a little, shallow is not the word. What's the word I'm? I'm looking for. But you, yeah, ladies, we all want financial security. But you know, Mr. Wright might only make a hundred. And you know what? Isn't it all about the love? Would you rather be rich or happy? What if you fall in love with Mr. Wright and he only makes a hundred thousand? There's nothing wrong with that. The guy makes a decent living, keeps you financially stable. It's all right. Like, it's cute to say that, but I personally feel like. If he got some money, that's where I'm headed. He is A1, just like his credit. <laughs> what is it with the rhymes today? What was rhyming? You said A1, I don't know, the way you said it in rhyme. What did you say? I just said if he has money, that's where I'm headed. You have good credit. I do have good credit. They deserve I just, to have date a guy with good credit too, and I date just, a guy who makes good money too. You make decent I know, money. But I don't. I don't want someone to be with me just because of my credit. You know what I mean? It was a factor for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what the f is going on? Are you drunk? <laughs> no. Like what the? But every person. You didn't know my credit. <laughs> Like, I know, like, for us, yeah. you know, we've got a lot of differences. We've had to overcome a lot. And yeah. if we weren't actually in love. If we never had money, we would just be so, like, okay, it'd like, be look, hard. Okay, <laughs> talking about? I'm joking, babe. I'm joking. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if I do love you, obviously, I'm just saying that, like, he has to give me everything he's got for this.
Who's he? You. I'm he. Yeah. Why are you talking about me like I'm in the third person here? Can you calm down? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just saying that like. Maybe you got everything. Yes, and that's and that's why I have it because I have you know this. That's why. I'm just telling them. Why do they need to know the details? Like you're gonna have to bleep every other word out. Like, you never say that word. I'm feeling very, you know, just, I got my hair done. I just feel very sensuous. Sensuous. Is that a word? I don't think so. <laughs> I feel very sensuous today. Like, you know. And that's why I'm giving this good should advice. We turn, should we turn this off? And... For, no, let's finish the questionnaire. I don't know how you're going to edit this thing. <laughs> okay, I've been dating a guy for a month now. When do you think it's the right time to take the next step? Like, are we talking about the next step? Yeah. These are juicy questions. There, I told you. How do you know? I mean, it's hard for a guy to answer that question because I'm assuming that's coming from a girl. Yeah. Because like, I don't know when that is for girls. I know when it is for guys and it's, when is it for of guys? course, like after the third or fourth date, when it's like really? a respectable amount of time. I feel like he has to make it rain if he wants. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Aika. <laughs> Babe, I'm talking wap, wap, wap. It's this wet ass. It's the Cardi B song, babe. The Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. I don't listen to Cardi B. It's I don't even know who the other it's person wap. is. Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, you really are. No, that is disrespectful. It's called wap, babe. Wet ass. Called WAP. The song's called WAP. So, what about this song? All the things I've been saying is from the song, honey. All the things I've been about. <sighs> Park that Big Mac pickup truck right in his right in his little garage. That is from the song. It does sound like something that Cardi B would say. It though. does. Cardi. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I, I was literally sitting here thinking, and I'm like, what is this chick? Like, why is she talking like Cardi B? Like, I was actually thinking that. I'm like. She sounds like a gold digger right now. I'm like, I'm like, who am I dating? Cardi B is not a gold digger. She's a talented businesswoman. She is a talented businesswoman, no doubt about it. I'm just saying that she's got that attitude, like, you know, with the like money and the like. Okay, which song is this? Wow. Is that her tongue? Yeah. Why is it like that? Jesus, she's like a lizard. I'm not joking, I had no idea. Really, so what do you think I was doing? I don't know, I thought you were losing your damn mind. And you know what, to be fair, like they're not playing that on the radio. Like I feel like I've only heard that song maybe like They're playing times. it. Look, he got some money, that's where I'm headed. The A1, just like his credit. Yeah, I didn't know what you meant by A1. <laughs> oh I was God. like, A1? Babe, you're too white for this. I was trying to say the Cardi B lyrics to you and you wouldn't let me live. You wouldn't let me live. Like you were looking at me like I was some like awful gold digger person. Yeah. Cause <laughs> you were like, I'm sorry Cardi B. But you, look like, you look like you're rethinking your entire life <laughs> and our entire relationship. Are you okay? I feel like an idiot. I feel like I should have got that. I was rhyming and saying. I said you were rhyming. I'm like, since when does this chick start rhyming? <laughs> I was just like, I was working earlier. I don't like, even talk like that. I know. Guys, I was like working. I don't even talk. I don't even swear. I barely swear. Barely. She, bar like, she'll look at me sideways when I start swearing. Yeah, That's why like, I was like, stop swearing. It's not, I don't like that. And I feel like I was like, I was working earlier. And then like, we came, sat down, shot this. And I just wasn't like prepared for that. And I didn't know how to like. Take it? Yeah. <laughs> it was just so funny because while I was asking the questions, you were legit giving your I know opinion. that's how I feel like an idiot you were like answering the question <laughs> and you're playing me and I was just like and I was like is she not taking this seriously get like, a bucket and a mop for this don't don't say it <laughs> I'm gonna let 
Cardi B Jr. over here <laughs> sign off for this video. Because I'm done. I'm done. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you did. Damn, I hope you enjoyed the process. Yeah, I'm still a little rattled. <laughs> Thought my girlfriend was a totally different person for a little bit. <laughs> Hit us in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about this video. Let us know if I pulled it off. Let us know if I got him, okay? Because I think I did. Let us know if you agree with Dr. Dem or Cardi B Jr. over here. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It was. But some people, I saw some girls on YouTube doing it and I wanted to did, try it. Did their guys fall for it? This one guy knew, like after a while, he was like, that's Cardi B's song. What are you doing? But I knew it would kind of get you because Dem listens to country music. Yeah. If, yeah. He doesn't listen to <laughs> don't, like... Don't tell them that. <laughs> he listens to if country she, music. If she ripped off some Kenny Chesney song, I'd be Ooh. like... Exactly. Who the Never. hell is Kenny Mo moving Chesney? On. Oh my goodness, you guys. The only thing you're missing are the nails. <laughs> Hey, the song turns you the song turns you into a completely different person. I know. I when I listen that. to it, I'm like, okay. Okay. Alright then. Have you never heard the saying, what has your wap got you? No. You've never heard of what has your wap got you? No. And some girls are like, my wap got me a Range Rover. My wap got me. You never heard of that? No. Wow. You were really well, into baby. your country stuff. I mean, your wife got you a nice 31st floor Goodbye. view, <laughs> south-facing CN Tower. Goodbye!